Welcome! In front of me I have Coral Space 2 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First thing you will need to do is to turn on your watch. And to turn it on, press and hold the lower button for a couple of seconds. And after the watch turns on, you probably will see the list of languages. You can scroll through this list by using the crown button, you can rotate it like this. Now select the language you would like to use on your watch, then uh, press the crown button to confirm. Press it again, confirm, like that. And once you select the language, you will see the QR code on the screen. It means we need to download and install the Coros application on our iPhone. Make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the App Store on your iPhone. In the App Store, tap on Search. Tap on the search bar and type in Coros. And tap on Search. You should see this application, Coros. Tap on it to select it, then tap on the Get button to download and install it. <laughs> Let me confirm that it's me. Okay, and now let's wait until the application is done installing. Okay, and once the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button. <laughs> once the application opens, you may see a couple of pop-ups about the permission. The Bluetooth one is required, so tap on OK. Next, we have the notification permission. This one is not required, but if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. And once you're done with the permissions, you will see the login page, and basically we need to log in into a Coros account. If you don't have an account, you can sign up by tapping on sign up button or you can use other accounts like Facebook or Apple. I already have an account, so I'm gonna tap right here, enter the email address and password. I must have entered the password wrong, so let me retype it. Okay, should be good now. And once you log in, you will see the today page. But as you can see before that, we have another pop-up about the permission. This is for the location. And this one is needed if you want to, for example, track your running, cycling and stuff like that on the map. If you want to do it, you need to allow this permission. If you don't care, you can deny it. And once you see the today page, tap on the device icon to open the device page. Here, tap on add new device, select the page two from the list tap on OK and scan the QR code from your watch with the phone. So basically you need to point the phone's camera on the watch. And once you scan the QR code, it will start pairing the devices. Tap on the pair button, then tap on next. Here we can set up a profile for our watch and of course we have another permission for the notifications you can allow it or deny it then you can set up or, or select on which wrist you prefer to wear your watch and then we have the uh, location for buttons and here we have the go goals daily goals then the bedtime you can set on which time on, on what time you usually go to bed and then we have the um, heart rate zones you can select preferred ones and here we can basically enable and disable the notifications for specific apps. As you can see, you can tap on the switch to disable the notification or enable it for the app. And basically how it works is if the notification is enabled for the app and you receive the not notification from that app on your iPhone, it will be forwarded to your watch. But if it's disabled, it won't be forwarded to your watch. You will only see it on your iPhone. Okay, so once you're done, tap on next, then tap on time to explore and you should see your page 2 on the list of devices right here and it means that the devices are paired together and that's how you pair this watch with the iphone thank you for watching if you found this video helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video